Welcome back, Ogreheads. Let us break down some Govaho, Gohova attacks. So, um, why would we attack? Let me, let's look at the base. Why do we attack from the north? Pause it down. The reason being we don't come from the south is if you attack from the south, the golems would actually funnel right towards that town hall eventually, and it would really ruin the kind of... Um, uh, kind of wizards, they would get hit way too early on, and some it would, it would cause a f bad funnel. So he came from the north. Also, he was able to drop the wizards. It's important. You have to drop the wizards before you drop those wall breakers. He let the wizards do the work. I say this over and over. Another good reason for coming north is he'll take out the queen a little earlier. Um, before the queen can get to her hogs and that's important because the queen can do some real damage to the hogs unfortunately he did not funnel the valkyries if you notice there um, and so the valkyries actually he lost some to the east the others went around um, but it's important to realize that when he's about to drop the hogs he comes from the west why he comes from the west because he realizes the golems the king are still up and they're distracted some of the expos, the wizard towers, the Teslas, so that gives the hogs some more protection. When you are attacking with bringing in your hogs, try to come in from the side where your hogs will be able to be protected. Yes, this is a Town Hall 10 attacking a Town Hall 9, but the only thing he has going for him are an, is an extra heal spell, which I mean, it might make a difference, but actually, you know, even I've seen great attackers fail just with one extra heal. So you still have to know what you're doing. His troops aren't Town Hall 10, uh, it, only he has the extra spell. And that's how you do it. No matter Town Hall 10, Town Hall 9, they're so comparable here in this attack that the strategy really comes to play. So we're going to break it down another video here. I'm going to show you uh, this was from the enemy a team and they're attacking. This is a Gohava go, Gohova or Gova Ho go using Valkyries as well. So the heroes aren't as high but still it doesn't matter. Where are we going to attack from? Where should you attack from? Now, he's going to be coming from the south and the reason being is it's important uh, to note that he's staying away from the clan castle. What he's hoping for is the clan castle is going to lure his Valkyries. Now, this was a mistake in my opinion to bring um, uh, wall, I mean, to bring uh, Earthquake there. I should, should have brought a jump instead. But look what he did. He actually funneled nicely. Look at that. Nice spread on the golems which is critical. But look, no wall breakers. He should have dropped them already. The golems would have gone into the center, but now he's losing his wizards. They're getting clumped next to the golems, and so the wizard towers, the uh, those uh, mortars are taking out the wizards as well. So you cannot forget to bring wall breakers. They're one of the most underrated troop in the game because they provide so much um, um, necessity in funneling. I'm gonna link a uh, video to how to how to use wall breakers like a pro. I did it. Very critical there too. So the reason why he failed this attack was he wasted the wall breakers. Uh, he wasted his troops at the beginning with the wall breakers. He brought too many wizards and he was impatient on the heal spells. So as you can tell, just because you have, you know, he's got max max uh, hogs, which, you know, are very critical in getting that third star, but he didn't execute the attack well enough, and that's why the fail. So I wanted to show the difference between the two. Yes, the first attack had an extra heal spell, but again, one extra heal is not going to make the difference, in my opinion. So there are a couple attacks... Uh, for sure, and, and I wanted to show you one more. Uh, that way, we can uh, kind of get a feel of how to two and three star bases. Now, the third attack, yes, it is going to be coming uh, from uh, Toshibi yet again. This is a Town Hall 10 attacking Town Hall, but it's only a Town Hall 10 because of an extra heal. Uh, so, uh, the, the heroes are not comparable for sure, but that's okay. We're going to still bring it in here and get the attack. Now, why is he coming from the south? Uh, the reason being, or kind of southeast, 
Um, in this attack, I, he's kind of away from the clan castle, hoping to get as many structures before he's guessing the hound is in the clan castle. So uh, I think it's kind of smart because, uh, again, since he's bringing in hogs and he thinks that he knows there's a hound in the clan castle, um, you don't need it. Uh, so he's bringing in a nice funnel with the Valkyrie. See that hound? That won't do any damage. He was guessing that there was a hound because there was a hound before. Uh, so he's going to let his hogs actually do main the main brunt of the work and you know the hound doesn't do anything for the hogs so he does bring in the hogs kind of from the, uh, the northeast there the units are still distracted on those kind of core the first wave of the attack and the, the key here is he's very patient with his heal spells uh, yes, he does have four. I mean, it does make a little difference, but again, not enough. If you don't execute right, if you don't funnel right, it doesn't matter. Uh, so he's going to get kind of circle the base with those hogs. And it is true, he left. He doesn't have any units left uh, at the, for the end of his attack, so his hogs are going to have to clean up. He should have saved some wizards or archer tower archers or something like that. But he did not save anything. No matter, he got the three star. I just wanted to show you yet another video and why this was not. This is from the enemy attacker here and why it was not three starred. So let's, it's, I think it's right here. Uh, now on this attack, yes, this is low level heroes. But still, I think you can still three star this base. He still has the max um hogs but look at this army composition way too many wizards and he did not spread his golems wide enough look at that they're clumped together what's going to happen is some of his wizards to the east are going to be taken out way too early by some of the cannons over there so yes he he can three star this base it is doable but it's all about the execution he has max hogs you have to utilize these max hogs again look at the core of the base he he does a couple things wrong. He drops a heal spell, which he does not need for the golems. Again, do not drop heal spells on the golems. They're not worth it. The key is the hogs. And if he actually dropped some wizards and brought more hogs, he would have three-starred this base. Uh, he did come in from the side that I would have come in. The reason being is the defensive units were still locked on to some of those golems and the core of the base and the king. So it really helped uh, his hogs just a little bit. Just, you know, even just a little bit helping your hogs the, 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 it can make the difference in a two and three star attack. So he was actually pretty patient on his heal spells, but look, if he had more hogs and he saved that other heal for the final hogs, look at this. He would, I think he would have had enough to three star the base. He only has a couple more defensive units to take care of, but he ran out of hogs because he had the wrong army composition. So. Again, when using hog attacks, make sure you bring enough hogs. You don't need as many wizards for the ground attack. All you have to do is uh, just a couple wizards, a uh, number, maybe eight wizards for the ground attack, and you'll be good to go. Maybe ten, uh, and that'll be fine. But he bought 20 in this. Anyways, guys, thanks again for watching. I appreciate it. Give it a thumbs up. And as always, Halo out.